Well, found one. I had a feeling this one was still knocking around and I hadn't found it yet. Uh, hopefully we have enough fruit for it. Yes! Good. Yay, slime key! Now we can get to the area! That's a lot of chick. Anything good in here? Ooh! Ooh! Go! 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 <gasps> no! Yes! Okay. So, that's another elder ornament. I don't know why there's only those two. I don't know if there's only those two, but those are the only two I've seen. Get going. Get going. This is bad. Ah. Okay. We're probably fine. I got over here by jumping over a wall. So. Uh, it's okay, yeah, we're good. I was like, oh, don't tell me I gotta use it. I don't, I don't want to use it now. Okay, let's go back to the ranch. We got a slime key. But, uh, our slimes probably need to be fed. So let's go sell this gold plot. We found... Honestly, in my other game, uh, I was... I was finding lucky slimes, like... Unusually often. Maybe I'm just lucky. <laughs> okay. Load the market prices faster. Ooh. 473, don't mind if I do. Okay, let's get these cool berries. We're gonna feed our little fish. fish. Here you go. Eat her. Grow big. Grow strong. You will need your strength to defend her. To defend our motherland from the foreign hordes. I don't know what that means. So they're gonna eat. And yeah, these guys have eaten. I fed them while you were away. I'm sneaky like that. Okay, these guys need vegetables. Good thing I got a whole bunch of their favorite. These little, these weird little potato things. Yes. Eat. Consume. Poop me money. Probably good on carrots. We need, we need mint mangoes. If I liked mint, these would probably appeal to me more. I, uh, I don't like mint as a flavor. Like, I can, like, with toothpaste it's fine, but, like, I never actively seek out mint. I was always the kid that needed the, uh, the, like, fruit punch candy canes and all that kind of thing. I just don't find mint an enjoyable flavor. It's strong. You know, you know, all my little money bags. Well, you're gonna poop me so much money. I love all of you. Never change. And here you are, my radioactive friends, compatriots. I don't know what you are. You're affronts to God. Oh, but they're so cute, and they have low radiation ores. Uh, you guys have already been, yeah, you guys are pretty happy. All right, let's get to selling. Now is the fun part. Now is the time. Now is the best time. Now is the best time of your life. Oh, Denny World. Man, Denny World. I don't know. I, uh, I found my, uh, my new Xbox came with, a came with a, uh, yeah, a free month's, 
uh, subscription to Game Pass, and one of the things they have on there is this game called like Disney Adventure. Uh, if you're if if you watch like a like AVGN or anything like that, you may have seen him uh, reviewing his, like Universal Studios thing where you like tour the park and all that. It's basically that, but Disneyland. And uh, well, I mean, I'll I'll play it for the channel because it's too creepy not to. <laughs> it's, it's it's beautiful. Oh, you guys have an auto feeder. Alright then, guess I like you guys most. Maybe they all have auto feeders and I'm just not. I'm just not, uh. yeah. observant. Then I have a dream and that's the start. Your phone is a dream, my mind and heart. When it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. I've been to Disney once, and I desperately want to return. It doesn't help that I watch a whole bunch of channels like Offhand Disney and all those. It's a fascinating place. So much cool shit. I need to bring back Journey to Imagination, though. Anyone who's familiar with that, I, uh, I, uh, I rode the ride as it exists now. With, you know, Eric Idle and all that mess. And, uh, <laughs> like, no kidding. Uh, we, we walked in there, and there was no line. This is, this is, like, spring break maybe five years ago. We walk into the Imagination Pavilion, and there is no line. So we're walking through, and, like, you know, the, the, the music is playing, and you see, like, the, the, the portraits for, like, uh, like, like Robin Williams and Harold, and, uh, not Harold Ramis, uh, fuck, what's his name? Lewis from, uh, from Ghostbusters. Rick Moranis. Uh, you see him there, and, uh, so, so me and my friend walk in, and eventually we, we timidly walk around the corner, and we see, we, we see a Disney cast member standing at a console, and we're like, are are you open? She's like, yeah. And so we, we got on the ride completely by ourselves uh, and rode through it once and thought, we don't really have anything to do for a couple hours. You want to just keep doing this? So uh, for, <laughs> for the entire trip, <laughs> whenever something went wrong, <laughs> we would... Uh, <laughs> uh, me and my friend would... <laughs> would just walk up to them and say, It's not that bad. After all, one little spark of inspiration. <laughs> just really creepily singing it. Oh, it was a hoot. I went on a band trip. We drove down on a charter bus. From Ohio to Florida. A charter bus. We slept on the bus. So we got down to Florida, then we got hotel rooms, but we slept on the bus twice. Once there, once on the way back. But it was a wonderful time. We, uh, we got to march in Epcot, and we got, well, the, the, uh, the marching band got the sweet deal. You see, the marching band only had to play, uh, for, uh, only had to be in uniforms in the Florida heat and humidity for, uh, about 15 minutes while we marched through Disney uh, and then we were basically there for you know the rest of the day and like I think four days after that uh, just you know we had park hopper passes so we were able to just you know go from park to park whenever we wanted uh, the choir people they had to attend a two-hour workshop every day <laughs> I think it was two hours maybe it was three hours Either way, uh, so Band got the sweeter deal out of that. Problem was, and I'm still bitter about this, I will never not be bitter about this. Uh, during our trip, uh, the band director said, Okay, so uh, the price will include something other than Disney. Uh, you guys get to choose what that something else is. Uh, would you rather uh, have 
w would you rather spend a day in Universal? I thought there was I thought there wasn't a rooster room there. Would you rather spend a day at Universal Studios or uh, attend an evening show of Blue Man Group? And they voted Blue Man Group. It was at Universal. It was in the evening. Basically, all we got to do was go to Universal City Walk, which is <laughs> City Walk, but a uh, uh, City Walk, which is like their own little like downtown area. It's it, it, it's kind of like Downtown Disney, only there's a bit more adult-oriented stuff there. So we ate a Bubba Gumps, and then we just wandered around the rest of the time, all the people who wanted to go see Blue Man Group saw Blue Man Group. But here's the thing. Wizarding World of Harry Potter was not there yet. And I know for a fact, if they had built it that year, there would have been no question. But me, who wanted to go on the Jurassic Park ride, and the Mummy ride, and all kinds of other rides... No. I didn't get to. So now I have to go back another time and take care of that. And I will always be bitter about that. And my ranting has brought us over. Well, thank you all for putting up with me. Uh, tune in next time when we'll, uh, we'll open up the door uh, to the one place in the moss blanket. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.